for this video, I want to take a look at the most popular, most widely used topology out there, and that would be the STAR topology. Really quick, this is the last free video from Lesson 2. We release half of every lesson for free here on YouTube. The other half, and over 200 videos on life science as well as technology, are available exclusively at MrFordsClass.net. Membership there is what allows us to continue to do this. So let's get going with the STAR topology. Like I said, the STAR topology is the most commonly widely used physical topology. Vices on the network connect to a central wiring point. So up to now, we had the bus topology, which had a backbone cable and all the devices attached to that cable. We had a ring topology, which was a ring and all devices attached to this ring of cable. The STAR topology has a central device in the old days, in the early days, this was maybe a hub. Currently, we either use a switch or a router, and all the devices attach to the central point, and the central point has cables that go down to each device, each node on that network. That would be a STAR topology. There's a lot of really good things about a STAR topology. For example, you can add or remove a device without taking the network down. You can put a device on, unplug it, do whatever you want to it with that device, and the network stays up. Failure of a single device does not mean the entire network crashes. Again, how is that different from the bus and the ring? In the bus topology, one device goes down, entire network dead. Same thing with the ring. And the other great thing about a star is that it's easy to isolate faulty nodes. So if everybody's working, let's say John, Sally, Robert, Xander, Hunter, Christy are all working fine, and here I come, and my computer is not connecting to the network, I can guess where the problem is. Somewhere along my computer to the network is the problem. But if everybody else is working, we can isolate issues fairly quickly again as opposed to a bus or a ring where everything goes down. Unfortunately, there are some bad things to a STAR topology. One is the cost. It typically costs more to create a STAR topology than a bus topology. If the central device goes down, the entire network goes down. So if that switch or router goes out, the entire network is down. But again, easy to isolate because everybody can't connect anymore. It does require more cables than a bus or a ring network. Remember in a bus, central backbone, everything's connected. In a star, everybody has to have their own connection to the central device. The cable length from the central device can also be a limiting factor. So in a bigger building, let's say you have a five floor office, you have to really be kind of concerned about how you're running your cable and whether or not you can connect everything back to the central device or you have to do something else. So cabling is a concern as far as length as well as how much cable. In our next video, we're going to take a look at the mesh topology.